my banner. Hi, my name is Timothy Sala. I'm a junior here at Renowned School for the Deaf. And I'm just going to tell you a few things about um, my counselor, Joseph. Um, he's helped me so much through the years. Um, you know, if I've had any difficult time, he's helped me get through that, how to get through solving problems and how to improve myself and be more open-minded uh, and if I have issues with other students. Can you think of an example of him being funny? Well, sometimes Joseph really makes me laugh and he tends to tease us or joke around and sometimes it distracts me if I'm in a difficult mood. Um, sometimes that humor during a counseling session is helpful. And I use Darth Vader sometimes. Remember, if you shut down like Darth Vader, sometimes I have used that in the past. Yep. And some Star Wars characters as well, like Darth Vader, yep. Other characters as well, but if I'm having a bad day or I'm shutting down or um, Joseph will say, oh, oh, you're looking like a Darth Vader moment. <laughs> <laughs> Could you ask Joseph if um, he has little Darth Vader characters? Yeah, I do. Oh. Right here, actually. <laughs> um, I think it's good for the kids to have things that kids can access and that they um, not just to play with, but sometimes um, they come into an office and they don't see anything that's relatable. And so I have a lot of toys in here, so it gives them something to talk about if they're shut down. Um, I'm a big Wonder Woman fan, and. <laughs> For many uh, males, they're like, why do you have Wonder Woman? Or why are you a fan? So it's relatable. It's harder when it's holiday time, actually, or break time, because they're home and they're lonely and they don't have some communication issues sometimes. Uh, sometimes, you know, winter break, uh, spring break, those tend to be harder times for our kids. Um, everyone's excited about summer, you know, they're excited to be done with school, but then at the same time, they're excited to return. Um, but holidays are very hard for our kids, and we have a high suicide rate for deaf and hard of hearing people during the holiday time. Even here? Uh, in general. Okay. Not just in Rhode Island, but just in general. Um, because people are home and there's communication barriers, or uh -huh. I try to offer um, tools to the students and, and tips for how to cope with the holidays. We always talk about that right before holiday break. Mm -hmm. um, what can you do? How can you help each other when you're home? So that's been very nice, um, but still it's tough for some of the kids. Do they and keep the technology? It's even better. Yeah. Technology today is uh, great. They have video phones. They have face-to-face -face communications. They can video chat with friends. It's not the same as in person, but they do have that. Thanks. So I'm Nancy McGuire Heath. I'm the director at the School for the Deaf here in Rhode Island, and um, we're just really pleased to have Joseph honored as School Counselor of the Year. Um, and we honor him um, because of his hard work on behalf of students and we honor through this all of our staff because for every Joseph there are five more hard working people in deaf ed 